Hey guys, here at OS and VTXReviews.com. Today we're taking you on a first look of this of the Panasonic portable DVD player, the um, portable um, SL50 series. And this is basically one of Panasonic's more classical models. And this is definitely one of the more higher end products because for a seven inch uh, standalone portable DVD player, it packs in a lot of features. Though it's still a considerably you know vast in terms of investment and pricing, so that's something you have to take a look at. So from a design standpoint, the um, SL50 looks very cool. It has this nice um, dotted matrix kind of look. It's sleek. It's made entirely out of plastic, but it feels nice. It doesn't have any creaks or any edges to it. You notice directly from the front that it has this really special hinge, and this is actually one of the special features of this model, which allows it to be opened and then to be rotated and the screen to be folded down if that's one of the features you want. You also notice it's one of the more thinner and lighter and more petite devices, and this is a great device for portability as it goes on the rounded corners. On the left-hand side, you do have the AC um, 90V charging port, and on the on the front, you do get to see its thinness, which is pretty thin. You have the charging indicators and also the L, um, the indication ports and the wireless ports. And on the right-hand side of the device, you'll find the dual headphone ports, which is a great function. You can plug in two 3.5 mil headphone jacks for dual um, playback if you're in a car or on a train for those things, and audio out and a video out for plugging into your TV. And that's pretty much it. You'll also notice that this is um, a model um, that's made in, um, in Japan, which means that it's one of the more older models where things were still manufactured you know, with a more high cost, which means it's really sturdy and great quality. Um, the battery is also really small, but offers a great decent um, great decent battery life. Um, standby time on the battery is actually really good on this model. For instance, we haven't charged this device actually for a few months now and it still has power built right on in. So taking a look on the inside of the, the product, you'll find that the screen is seven inches. We also have the speaker grill directly located on the bottom of the screen. It's pretty cool. It's a great placement. And then you'll find the two wheels on the sides which allows it to be rotated the screen. The front of the device sits down like so. It has this nice design. Again, this is a very small device. It's if this is a DVD player case, it's smaller than a DVD player case. So it's really tiny and in reality, we've got this nice design here. We have um, a great continuation of, of special designs, which include a track wheel for navigation of uh, seeking and different functionalities. We also have a five-way D-pad, including left, right, up, down, and enter. And this is actually, you know, it saves space and it's a really cool aesthetic, but it's, um, the scroll wheel works really well. While this D-pad is actually pretty small, um, test it before you buy it. It might be a little bit small for if you have large hands. We have a volume rocker in the front, a top menu, this display button, some monitor modes, picture modes, surround sound modes, and we also have a skip trap, skip trap mode, a repeat, and an open, which ejects the slot for the optics underneath. We also have some advertisement showing that this is also a very advanced DVD player in terms of high quality format. Um, it plays back Windows Media and JPEG formats, RAM DVD minus R playback. Now let's take a look on the different styles of this device. We were talking about how the screens could be rotated. We have a copy of King Kong which we'll be just testing to show you the quality of the screen exactly. Um, so this is traditional view. We have all know traditional view. You can tilt the screen up and down, close it, whatever. But if we want to tilt the screen up, we basically just take the hinge and separate it like that click and then you can adjust the screen size as you can see the screen is also pretty matte so it doesn't tr attract a lot of fingerprints and sun sunlight so we can press the screen down for what we call this flat screen mode and now it kind of looks like a tablet and because it's all this one piece of screen it's great for viewing back but if you need to access controls it's not that great when you're in this mode, it's great. Um, you know, if we're having on a low table, it's also great um, if you want to utilize the, the sound on the system, which is very loud, very crisp sounding audio quality. Okay, let's turn this on and see how it does. Other than the price, there are also a few drawbacks of this model. One in particular of this device, as you can see, um, is the fact that it's kind of picky actually on on audio format. King Kong is one of the original, you know, CDs that we've seen. So it's uh, DVD movies we've seen, and it is a full retail, um, retail DVD. So it's great. But otherwise, we found that if we were playing back home media, like devices that we created by ourselves, um, 
media at home, it's actually really hard to play them back correctly. We also found out, you know, if we have different countries, we bought some, some DVDs from India, from China, from Thailand, from all over the world, different regions, this device cannot play other region C DVDs, which means it's really limited just to North American markets and really, you know, um, DVDs that are created by the manufacturer. You can't do a lot of customization, which is unfortunate um, for this device. And um, as you can see, the screen quality on this device is fairly decent. It's um, it's still visible, like some of the pixelation, but it's great colors and saturation rates. Um, brightness levels can be really easily adjusted via the menu system. It really takes advantage of the entire screen, and overall, this is a very pleasing experience. Now, one of the more common um, negativities of this model in particular that makes it not so great, um, some people have said, is that the optics on this is great, you know, for playback of high quality um, stuff, and, you know, it's pretty quiet as a system, which is impressive. But other than that, um, we found that it can sometimes get a little buggy in addition to being kind of restraining on format. Um, the optics, after you eject your DVD, it can kind of come, come loose, how can we say this, it gets... Um, you know, usually how we have the centered optic and then the C DVD goes on here, and this is the optic lens. It can kind of go to the, to the sides, and that may, means the next time you play a DVD, it won't play because the optics is not in place, and it's going to record a error code. What you need to do that is just basically press optics back to the center again. It's a little nuisance, and it's a thing that many people have thought um, was why this device was broken. When it's not broken, it's just a nuisance on a design standpoint. Quite unfortunate. But all in all, we thought that this is a great entertainment device still. It's a top-of-the-line product. It's got great viewing angles, a great display, and a great sound system for a really pleasing 7-inch um, DVD portable player. It's quiet. It's got all the bells and whistles. You're going to have to suffer from a little bit, you know, of a of, of a imperfection in terms of the optics. And if you are really just buying this to play regular DVDs and movies, we think that you'll be having a great experience. For OSMVTXReviews.com, this is the Panasonic DVD. LS50. Thank you for watching.